Hey, good morning, everybody. This is, today is July 1st, 2020, and this is going to be the first of four episodes this month. We'll be uh, doing a video, actually part one of three today. So there'll be three videos, starting with pain management, and the second video is at eight, meditation. The third video is nine o'clock, where I'll be answering uh, any questions about intermittent fasting and sharing my experience with intermittent fasting this month. We're at the, the challenge for this month of July is IF, and this is something that I've been interested in for a couple years, so just wanted to share with you my experience with that and um, just um, help you understand a, more information about how wonderful of um, option it is with your help. All right, so today is we're focusing on the low back and this is something that I run into a lot in my, in my massage practice here at my house. I, people come to me for low back pain, sciatic, um, any kind of back pain, neck pain, shoulder pain. I had some, a client yesterday come in for, um, to help re rehabilitate the shoulder. He had injured it um, with just with a horse. He was, you know, the horse kind of pulled his shoulder and so there's a little bit of um, strain on his shoulder. So I help people with headaches, migraines, um, all kinds of things. So I thought that it would be great to do a segment this month on pain management because I offer people I offer people tips and tools to take care of themselves in between their sessions. So if you're uh, watching this video today, hi Lara, thanks for coming. Um, if you're watching this video today and you're in the area, sorry Lara, Lara you're not, but I'd love to have, have you um, use the link below I'll be sharing later for a 10% off uh, session with me. All right, so low back pain. Um, I'm using a exercise ball today because this is the most, um, first of all, I want to let you know that I'm not a physical therapist. I'm not, um, you know, I'm, I'm not a trainer. Um, and these are just things that I've learned over the years, over the last 20 years of my practice that help uh, my clients between their sessions. And um, so just to get that out of the way, I do not um, claim to be professional, you know, exercise trainer or anything like that. So just use these, um, these suggestions at your own precautions and just listen to your body. That's the one thing, number one thing I always tell my clients is to just make sure that you listen to your body and don't push it. Um, the things that you always want to remember when you're doing these exercises is you want to uh, avoid pinching pain, like beyond a level, on a scale of one to 10, you don't want to go past a seven. You don't want um, to experience, be experiencing any tingling, numbing, and, and pain. So those are the three, top three things I want you to remember when doing these exercises. And um, most people, you know, I'd hope that wouldn't have chronic back pain that would, um, you know, ca these exercises wouldn't cause those three things. But if you do have chronic back pain, it is good to do these exercises. Just be aware that you can mo modify these exercises a little bit to um, accommodate your body's needs. So the, the, this stretch is basically just like an, we're going through a strength and a stretch. So alternating strength with a stretch. And um, we're focusing on the front of the body, the sides of the body, and the back of the body. So like I said, if you have a ball, then you can go ahead, climb up on the ball. Hopefully, I know the light's a little funny out here, but I like to do my, uh, my exercise out here on my patio because, you know, part of my morning sunrise, sunri sunrise routine. Um, so, all right, so 
just keep in mind that when you're using the ball, it's supporting your back. It is like, this is why I love the ball because, you know, it helps to support the natural curve of your lower spine. So when, remember when you're doing these exercises, keep your jaw loose, take nice deep breaths into your belly, opening up the, we'll start with opening up the rib like this, bringing your breath all the way down. So let's just relax over the ball just to get used to um, how that feels. Let's see if, go ahead and tilt this down a little bit more so you can see me. So I'm leaning back, nice natural curve and open up your open up your body relax your jaw pull the breath into your tummy opening up your ribs as you breathe in and bring your fingertips to the sides of your head remember to keep your jaw loose and take a nice deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth and lift your body up until you feel that little crunch here so you're closing in your ribs breathe in and out breathe in my legs are about almost about 90 degree angle just to anchor my feet in the ground so i don't flip around so we're going to do 10 of these one breathe out breathe in two Three, four, five, breathe deep into your belly, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Pull all the way up, crunch, 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 crunch and then relax your body back over the ball. Allow your spine to naturally curve over the ball. Open your hands to the sides. Take three deep cleansing breaths. And if you can, straighten your legs to get even more of a deeper stretch in your spine. I love, love, love this stretch. So nice, deep cleansing breaths through your nose, into your nose. Out through your mouth, in through your nose, out through your mouth, and then we'll do two more rounds of 10. So one, crunch, pull way into your, your belly, pull in, kind of exaggerated like you're don't don't pull on your neck but you're pull kind of like feeling like you're pulling your elbows to your knees keeping your jaw relaxed breathing in as you come back and out <sighs> really exaggerate that movement full range of motion so when you get to 10 go ahead and stretch your body really nice a deep stretch over the ball, breathe in and out, breathe in, so you can really feel your gut opening up, you want to, there's lots of muscles in your, um, the front of your body that are connecting to your back, so to opening up those hips. If you can straighten your legs out, it's even better because you've got a muscle that connects your lower back to the front of your hips. So that's why we're starting, that's why we're opening up and stretching the front of the body. If you can't keep have your legs straight, then just keep them a little bit bent and just roll back and forth. So you can kind of encourage your spine to get more movement. All right, let's do one more round of 10. One, exaggerate that motion. So you've got full range of motion all the way back. Two, 
six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And you can do as many rounds as you want. This is a really great exercise. But we've got the sides and the back of the body to do still. So we're going to move on. Three nice deep cleansing breaths. Relax your jaw. Relax your forehead. Open that chest. Open the front of the body. So we're going to move to the side of the body. So this one, a little bit more challenging. And you can anchor your knees on the floor right next to the ball. If you've ever done these exercises before. So you can kind of see my knee come down here, right? This, like this. And um, the, the foot is down, my other leg is straight. Or a little bit more advanced, you can have both legs straight. And um, so we'll, we'll just do the, this is level one. This is level two. Level three is stacking your feet together. It takes a little bit more balance and strength from your core. So we'll start with level one, which is your knee, bottom knee down. And we're going to target the side of the body. Ten of these. Really open up the side. Full range of motion. If this hurts, like I said in the beginning, no pain, no pinching. You know, if I, you know, my core is a little weak right now. I haven't been practicing core exercises for a little while. So I can feel it in my back, but it's not pinching. So 10 of these side. Don't know where I'm at, but that's okay. <laughs> and then just open up and kind of twist back and forward. And open up that side body. Breathe deep into the side body. Opening up. And we'll do two more rounds of that. One. Two. Three. If you don't feel this in your side body, you might want to go to level two, which is, you know, your, your feet are staggered. So you got one foot behind the other. Takes a little bit more have to come up on your hip a little bit more. Whoop. <laughs> One, two, three, four. And come all the way up. You can come really high on this and feel that crunch. Okay, open up the body. Really stretch it out. Breathe into the side. One more round. One. Come all the way up. Until you feel that nice. You still feel your side body working out. Alright. I'm starting to feel that. Okay, one more round. Breathe in deep through your nose and out through your mouth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And open up and stretch. <sighs> Love stretching, my favorite. You can fill this all the way up, the side body, the elbow, all the way down to the hip. Okay, we'll do the other side. Switch sides. Remember, you don't have you don't have to go to level two or three with your legs out. I think that level one, just having your knee down like this is just works just great <laughs> all right top hand up here barely touching your your uh, head you don't want to put any pressure on your neck make sure that your jaws loose 
Take a nice deep breath in and out. Crunch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I get this back un underneath my body a little bit more. That way I can get more more extension out of that crunch. So more if you have more that you keep your body on top of the ball, the more you can get that range of motion. Okay, open up that side body, breathe in deep. <sighs> All right, second round one, two, three, four. Open up, breathe nice, three deep breath. Hmm. One more round, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine, ten. Oh, I like this one on my right shoulder. That feels really good. <laughs> Breathe into that side body. One more round. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last time. Last stretch on this side. We'll move to the back. Breathe, relax. And we'll do the back now. So this is. On the floor, they would call this Superman. So, we're gonna do it on the ball, though. You can kinda see my feet back there. Straight legs, straight body. So, let's start with a, move my, hopefully, I'm not getting crackling here. Okay, all right, so let's start with the knees bent, first of all, and just get used to the ball around your body Move this up a little so just relaxing so you can feel that stretch on your back breathe into your belly opening up those back muscles there's a back muscle that's called a QL that gets tight when we do our yard work <laughs> and lifting up the babies. All right, okay, so this one, straight legs. And it's easier to do it against a wall if you, if you find your toes slipping. So we might, I might, hopefully I won't have to feel that way. All right, neutral neck. Remember your body, listen to your body. Don't allow, don't let your nut get pinched. Make sure jaw is loose. Don't tighten your teeth. Make sure your teeth are, you know, loose like this. Neutral neck so that you're, you have a straight line from your feet to the top of your head to your feet. Bring your elbows back so you have a little bit of flex in your upper back. Don't pull on your neck like this. No tilting like this, no looking forward. So your eyes are going to have kind of like an angle like this. You don't want any pinching in your 
because you can feel extra pinching in your back if you like this. Okay, so we don't want that. And we don't want your neck down like this. You can feel that stretch up here that strains your neck. No straining, no pinching. All right, so relax your jaw, breathe in and out. Just teeny tiny movements. Just like two or three inches. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. And relax and breathe into your belly. Open up the lower back. Okay, straight legs, two more rounds. Bring your hands up gently. Neutral spine. One, two, three. If this hurts at all, I don't want you to do it. Maybe you can just hold like this. You don't need to actually do any movement. If that's enough for you, then that's, that's all you need. Listen to your body. If you need a little bit more movement, you can get, you can do more than three inches if you'd like. You can come all the way down, all the way up. But it doesn't take much. Just a couple inches. <sighs> okay, relax your body over the ball. Breathe in deep. Three nice deep breaths. I can feel that stretch even in my upper back now that, you know, we're working it a little bit. It's kind of nice. Last round. One, two, three. Relax your jaw. Relax your forehead. Neutral spine. Eight, nine, and ten. All right, last time. Really relax your whole body. Okay, one last stretch that we're going to do for our lower back. And then we'll move to the meditation. I'm going to tilt this back up. Hope you guys like that. If you, if it worked, please give me a thumbs up. That way I know if you like it and I can keep doing these videos. And please share, please share with your friends. Please share the group with your friends. You know, if you have friends that have uh, pat, any kind of pain, any kind of pain from three to 10, I help people in all, with all kinds of pain across the board. Okay, so this last stretch is with straight legs. We're getting back on the ball. You can do this on the floor too. A little bit more of a stretch. So you can't see my toes. My toes are pointed up. <laughs> so I'm just reaching forward and grabbing. If you can't grab your toes, that's fine. You don't have to. So if you can just go put your hands on your knees and feel the stretch behind your legs, that's great. If you can go further down and grab your ankles to feel the stretch, perfect. But we're keeping your toes up, pointing it up to the floor of the ceiling. So pulling on your toes, relaxing your neck, feel on that stretch. So like go as deep as your legs want you to go. And this takes a little bit of balance, so it's kind of fun to do it on the ball. A little bit of core strength. And just sink a little deeper in the next exhale. And you can continue stretching. I mean, 
the hamstrings is really what uh, lots of hamstring stretching is really good for the lower back um, so like I said earlier these are the kinds of things that I send my home my uh, kind of homework I send home with my clients when they come in for a massage I offer Thai massage and uh, specialized integrated massage which includes energy work and um, a little bit of stretching a little bit of deep tissue so a little bit of everything um, Thanks for joining me today. I hope you can stick around for the meditation. It com- it's coming up at 8. I don't even know what time it is right now. But um, yeah, so if you like this video, just you know, give me a thumbs up, give me a heart, and share it with your friends and invite them to the group. I'd love to have more people join in. And I will see you for the meditation at 8 o'clock. Remember to use that 10% off link when I share it. Thanks.